Let's be a champion in life. Hey guys, I'm full this morning. I'm feeling really, really, really full. Um, very wealthy internally today. Yesterday was an incredibly awesome day out of Loa High School. You know, the coaches really felt, made me feel very uh, welcome, um, embraced, um, believed in our mission, excited and, and supportive. And it really could feel it from all the coaching staff there at the uh, Aloha High School. Um, they had the Mac Club Youth Tournament. Um, There's probably 500 kids, lots of parents. Every two hours was a session of different ages, a lot of little kids, it was great. Um, I felt really engaged with the fans, with the kids, um, really connected. And uh, uh, it reminded me really of why we're doing it. And, and it also reminded me, you know, I've been sustaining the business, traveling a lot um, on the East Coast for years and it's time. I just, I, I realized, you know, this last month or so, like I haven't saturated Oregon. I should be a household brand. These kids should know who we are, what we do. And um, so it's been a blessing to be able to be local, be home and impact our families here in Oregon. So um, for me, it's it's a win. Um, there is a silver lining through all this and there is a, and it's truly uh, the most important moment in, in be a champion right now to be able to impact uh, right here at home the way we're doing it. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You know, these kids get these little lucky wooden be a champion, never give up wooden nickels and posters to take home and, you know, um, they might not understand it completely, but it's a poster on their wall from a wrestler, from a champion. He signed it and he gets, they get to meet me. And it's just a really, really neat experience for myself and for the kids, you know, involved there. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of great conversation about life and people that have family and addiction and they want the book and they want to share it with their loved ones. And it's just a really neat experience, uh, uh, the way we're doing it right now. And it's very personal. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, enjoying the connection with, with Oregon. Um, but yeah, there's two great stories, man. And, and, uh, I just can't quit thinking about it. There was this kid that was completely devastated yesterday. He lost his mat, his first match and he was just bawling and he's out in the hallway and he's with his dad and dad's trying to talk to him. And I'm sitting there watching this, uh, interaction and, you know, these kids, they get so devastated sometimes. Anyway, dad's done talking to him after a while. And I kind of call him over to the table and I, I sit down and I, I have a little chat with the, the little athlete, you know, and uh, talk to him about loss and what it looks like. And, you know, that I took a lot of losses in my, my comeback year and went on and won some matches and and uh, talking to him about just getting a little better and just focusing on 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 learning and, and getting better and loving the sport. And, you know, I hand him this little, I said, I want to give you something. I give him this little wooden nickel. It says, never give up on the back. And I tell him a little story about it. I said, when you get nervous, just, just rub it with your thumb. And this is your lucky wooden nickel. It's going to help you through tough times. It's going to help, help you pick yourself up. And, and, uh, and he's tears in his eyes and, Anyway, he goes off and, and a few hours later, you know, he comes running to my table and grabbing a hold of me and his dad's just ear to ear smiles and I'm just like, whoa, what's going on? How'd you do? And you could just tell the kid had won a match, you know, and he won a two matches and, and after that and, and, and he looked at me and I, and I, and I, I go, it's the lucky wooden nickel. And you could tell he was thinking that. He's like, yeah, oh my gosh. Anyway, it was just the neatest thing I have ever experienced. And it really touched my heart. Um, that moment, that's what it's about. You know, another dad came up to me later on and he goes, my son went out to wrestle and he, he wanted, he wanted to hold the nickel while he was, he didn't want to let go of the, the wooden nickel when he went out on the mat and stepped the line, he had to call him over. Son, you got to leave it on the side of the mat. And anyway, it's just a, just a really neat thing. All these little nuggets, you know, um, that mean a lot to, uh, to the athletes, to the families, to me, um, the things that we can do to instill positive, um, positive values, um, and just a little spark, a little nugget, you know, um, right now until it all makes a little more sense later. But yesterday was an extremely special day. Um, meant a lot to me and I could tell it meant a lot to the kids. Yesterday was good. So we're going to chalk it up as a great day. 
we inspired some people, we changed some lives, we connected, um, and uh, it was a day to remember. So thank you to the coaches out there um, in Aloha Metro. I want to get out that way a little bit more often. Um, next up is uh, Redmond. We'll be at the Oregon Classic next week, guys.